Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can right click or double click on any web element on the web page. So as we have understood about the action change class in the last tutorial and how to use that class to basically mouse over and then there are there were more methods that we have covered right so there were a lot of methods that we have gone through in this documentation now let us understand about the double click how you can use double click and then right click so context click is the method that you can use to perform the right click on any particular web element so let me go to this particular demo website of guru 99 and here if you see that i have two web elements here right so if i click on a right click then it gives me certain menu there okay so if say for example i have to double click on a particular web element or right click then selenium provides or the action change class helps us to right click or double click and it is also very very simple so let me copy this whole code here that we used for the mouse over and close all of these windows here and I'll create a new Python file and I will name it as demo right click and then double click paste everything here and apart from the maximize window I'll remove everything and let's copy this particular URL which we want to open or understand right click and double click okay so I've pasted everything here so let me say demo right and then double click and here I'll say right demo right and double all right so change the method name there okay make these method name and the class name more readable and not not something like this because this is just for the demo purpose that i'm naming these as is but the naming convention should be such that it is easier to understand and it's readable and understandable okay so now we are maximum we are opening this particular page and maximizing the window so as we have understood about the action chains so what we need to do is we need to first create an object of the action chains in order to right click and double click so create an object of the action chains class so what we can do is we can simply say action chains and then this accepts the reference of the the argument driver so this is the object of the action chains class and i'll create it in the variable so i'll say a chains define a variable a chains you can name you can provide any name here and then i can call the methods right so i can say a chains dot and in order to right click there is a method context click right so if you say context so there is a context click and it will click on the element that you will pass here as an argument right so what we need to first do is we need to first identify the web element on which we want to right click okay so let's go to that particular url just right click or just right click anywhere and inspect because as soon as you will right click on it it will open the menu so you inspect the web element or inspect any of the element on the page then just select this little icon here and hover over right click and let's go to selectors hub and you can see that it has relative x path and it is highlighting that particular button we'll copy that directly and we'll store it in in the right click variable and then we'll say driver dot find element so we are just identifying that element first so we'll say by dot x path and then providing that x path there that we got we minimize this so this is identifying that particular web element and then we are storing or this particular right click variable is holding the reference of this particular uh, this particular web element okay now if i have to right click on this particular web element okay or let me rename it right click seems a bit confusing there so i'll say element one okay instead of right click so element one and just pass the element there okay now after this context click what we have to do is we have to basically we say dot perform that's very very important as we have seen in the previous tutorial on mouse over that when you are using action chains dot perform at the end is very important to perform all the actions that you have defined in this chain okay and after this maximize let me put a comment and i'll say right click so this is the code below which you will see for the right click okay now let me create an object of this particular class and call the method so we'll say d right click just define a variable there and then call the method demo right demo right double okay let me run this now and after right click just put some sleep so that we can see what exactly is going on okay so let me run this now and it should open the page maximize the page and then right click on the web element that we have seen as you can see that it has right clicked on that particular web element all right now say for example after right clicking i want to 
I want to say copy, right? So what we have to do is we simply have to identify the web element for this copy. So just click on this little icon, go to this copy and in the selectors hub, it is showing you the relative X path, which looks good. I'll copy this relative X path and then we will say copy element just define a variable copy element and store that web element so we'll say driver dot find element by x path and provide the x path there so copy element is the variable that holds that particular locator copy now after right clicking we'll sleep for three seconds or we'll stop wait for three seconds and then we want to click on the copy element so it is similar to interacting with the normal web element so we can simply say driver right or sorry we'll say we have already identified this so we'll say copy element dot click right so we want to click so after right clicking we want to click on this particular web element because this web element appears only after right clicking so we have used context click and then we'll copy okay so this is how we'll do right click and then copy so if i run this now it should right click and then click on copy we'll click on copy and it was very quick so let's put some sleep so that we can see that it is actually copying or clicking on the copy you can see that it has clicked on copy the alert appeared so that means it has basically copied right successfully now this is about the right click now say for example how do we double click okay so i'll copy the same thing here and how to double click right so double click nothing tricky about double click i will simply use the same thing so i'll simply comment this out what we have to do is we have to create an object of this action chains class for the double click as well right and then we have to store the web element on which we want to double click right so it's pretty simple so it's simply right click inspect this particular double click web element let me copy this relative x path and we will simply say element 2 and then driver dot find element by x path and provide the locator for that particular web element okay now to double click on this particular web element we'll simply say action chains right dot double click we just have to call the method double click right and in the double click so in the argument we have to pass pass the element on which we want to double click so we want to double click on which element element 2 which is basically double click to see, to see me to see the alert right this button here and after double click after double click what we want to do we want to do perform right so perform is very very important because in the action chains the last bit should be performed to perform the chain of events okay so now this will double click and let me put some sleep there so that we can see the message that double click has happened successfully all right so let me run this now and it will open the page maximize the page and it should double click right so you see you double click me appeared successfully right so this is pretty simple and easy if you know how to use the methods of the action chains class then it's very easy to do all the actions or mouse over events drag and drop etc using the action chains class right so action chains we have used to do the right click and then double click on the web element so that's all about how to perform the right click or double click on the web element in selenium using python i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching